they're off for the Group 1 Darley Yorkshire Oaks and Scirocco's start restrained on jumping by Richard Hughes. Hughes in the spotted jacket, anxious perhaps to get a little cover early. An early pace, such as it is, comes from the French-trained Philly Charetta with the nose band from Was in the centre. A Bible Belt is against the fence. Coquette with a white cap tracking the leaders. And then the Fugue, uh, William Buick, the Pink Silks, and Richard Hughes, a couple of lengths adrift aboard a Scirocco Star. It's very steadily through the first quarter of a mile. And Charetta and Christophe Lemaire giving a lead to the Oaks winner was seeking to become the 11th filly to complete the Oaks and Darley Yorkshire Oaks double. Coquette is close up on the outer and then Bible Belt in the hands of Fran Berry, the red sleeve jacket, a little in advance of the fugue and still a couple of lengths back to Scirocco Star. So down now to the end of half a mile and at a still modest gallop it's Charetta, this three-time winner leading up from was in the hands of Shamie Heffernan seeking to give Aidan O'Brien his uh, third Darley Yorkshire Oaks coquette. One of a, a brace of Huey Morrison trained fillies in the race stalking the leading pair. Bible Belt is close up in fourth and then the fugue under a waiting ride and finally Scirocco Star. Down now to the halfway point and beginning the swing back towards home. No increase in the tempo as yet. Charetta wide of Was, taking a bit of a grip on the inside and now just about poking her nose in front. So Was goes on from Charetta. Coquette is the shadow to Bible Belt, a length and a half to the Fugue and still Scirocco Star waiting in the wings. Down past the five and heading to the top of the home straight as the rain sweeps across the Naysmire. Pretty filthy conditions for these fillies who turn their heads for home and drift towards the near side running rail. And it's Was who leads the Darley Yorkshire Oak field from Charetta. Bible Belt away to the right, followed there by the few. Coquette on the left now coming under pressure and Hughes now beginning to nudge away on Scirocco Star. Was is now turning it into a real test as they run down to the final two and a half furlong. She skips a couple of lengths clear. The Fugue goes after her. Her stamina will be tested now as she begins to bridge the gap on Was. Charetta is boxing on. The other three struggling to land a blow. It's the Fugue who challenges Was with Charetta nearest the fence down to the last furlong and three fillies still with a real chance of the Yorkshire Oaks, the Fugue under the Buick Drive. Charetta on the near side, rallying gamely. Was sticking on grimly between them. The Fugue, Charetta finding a bit more towards the near side. A brace of Phillies dive for the line together, and it's Francis Price. Charetta wins the Darley Yorkshire Oaks from the Fugue with Was back in third, and Scirocco Star was in fourth. Second in the arc, but the winner of the Darley Yorkshire Oaks in 2012. Charetta is a top-class filly and a pacemaker no longer. She is a star in her own right. She's won this Group 1 for Christophe Lemaire and Alain de Roy and she has taken the notable scalp of the few, who has finished a narrow and battling and very good second for William Buick and John Gosden. Third is was for Shamie Heffernan and Aidan O'Brien, and the three of them have pulled away clear of the rest of them in a race that has been run in increasingly worsening conditions, the rain getting stronger and stronger here on the Navesmire. The race itself hotted up as it went on. They crawled along early. Shiretta set the early gallop. Then Shemi Heffernan felt that they were going too slowly, so he went on in the straight. The few challenged soon, but she was worn down on the near side rail by Shiretta. She was worn down. She was just ultimately outstayed as well. She showed a customary turn of foot. The few on the outside. You think that was enough to, to land the prize, but Shiretta, she's gained her first winning Group 1 company. She thoroughly deserved the performance. Strong say she was prominent early, tapped for a bit of speed, and then the stamina came into play.